Now, what are the clinical features of Japanese encephalitis? First thing, what is the incubation period? So, the incubation period in these patients is between 4 to 14 days. So, incubation period is 4 to 14 days. Now, when we talk about the clinical features, there are two distinct phases of clinical presentation which are seen. First phase is called as the prodromal phase. Prodromal phase. Prodromal phase usually lasts from a few hours up to 3 days. So, certain books give a range of 1 to 3 days. So, prodromal phase, what are the features that will happen? Prodromal phase, the usual prodrom, viral prodromal feature hongay. So, there will be fever in the child. There will be malaise happening. There will be headache. Sometimes there will be nausea or vomiting. Rarely you may find some degree of diarrhea to be had. So, this will be the prodromal phase. It will last for 1 to 3 days. And then the second phase, the dangerous phase, when the active CNS features appear, that is called as the encephalitis phase. Encephalitis phase. Encephalitis phase will be from about 7 to 10 days. Sometimes it can extend up to 2 weeks. So, 7 to 14 days also, it has been described in certain textbooks. In encephalitis phase, you will have the usual encephalitis features appearing. So, the fever will become persistent, prolonged persistent fever will be present, daily spikes will be coming, along with that you will now have altered sensorium. So, altered sensorium will happen, you will have seizures developing in the patient, you will have a progression of the disease producing coma like features, so coma like manifestations can happen and uh, focal neurological deficits will also appear. So, focal neurological deficits will appear. Severe cases, if it becomes severe, these are the patients who will be presenting with complications. So, they will progress to, they will progress to low GCS. So, frank coma or not, you know, uh, where cardiac arrest can also happen if not immediately managed. Shock can develop in some of these patients. Raised intracranial pressure can develop in these patients. So, and even death can happen by the time the child presents to the hospital. So, severe cases will progress like this. So, prodromal phase and encephalitis phase. Now, this is uh, regarding the uh, progression of the disease. While you also need to understand that these are the two phases which are described in the Indian textbooks. IAP 22, IAP textbook of pediatrics, OP Ghai, the latest edition, 10th edition has come recently. They all talk about the two phases. However, Nelson says that sometimes after prodromal phase, their encephalitis phase can be subdivided into phases. So, according to Nelson, now it is an additional thing that you need to remember. Nelson 21st edition says that encephalitis phase can be subdivided into the two phases known as acute phase and the subacute phase. In this, the acute phase will be lasting for about 3 days and subacute will be lasting for about 7 days or sometimes 7 to 10 days, right? So, acute and subacute phases have also been described. These are the phases, sub phases, I would say sub phases which have been described in Nelson, right? And Nelson also says that many of them after once they start improving, they may go on to the phase known as convalescent phase. This is the description which is given in certain western textbooks. However, in the vast majority of Asian literature and the Indian studies, Indian textbooks, you will not find this kind of a presentation, this kind of a, you know, this depiction. Galat kuch nahi hai, it is just a different way of expressing. So, for vast majority, IAP also says two phases, prodromal phase and encephalitis phase. But examiner can ask you, does Nelson talk about these phases differently? Nelson says prodromal phase will be there. Then there will be an acute encephalitic phase, then subacute encephalitic phase and then phase of convalescence. Features, progression will vary from child to child. Majorly, they will remain the same, right? So, don't get confused if you are reading from a review article or if you are reading from Nelson, that this is different and what we are reading in other review articles is different. This is just a way of expression, right? So, these are the clinical features uh, that you need to know. Uh, some will survive, some will develop sequelae, some will die, obviously.